let's go back to 1987 to a fragrance that I actually had many, many years ago when I was in the United States of America. And I remember going to the United States for the first time and just being so blown away at the amount of variety of fragrances that I hadn't actually heard of. And this was a fragrance that blew me away uh, the first time I smelt it. I remember smelling it for the first time and I didn't actually think it was like anything else. But, uh, you know, as time's gone on, this is actually a really good clone, if you want to call it a clone, of a, a really popular fragrance that I actually reviewed not long ago. Stay tuned, guys, and we'll talk about it. So the fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about today comes from the huge and very popular casino in Las Vegas, Caesars Palace. And this is their signature men's fragrance that came out in 1987. And the fact that it's still being made is pretty extraordinary uh, because, you know, this is one of those fragrances that could have quite easily been discontinued. Um, but apparently you could actually buy this from Caesars Palace. I think you can actually still buy it in the casino itself. So I was able to get a gift set and uh, this is what it looks like. So this is Caesar's Man. And uh, like I said before, I've had this fragrance before uh, when I was in the States many, many years ago. And I thought I'd pick up this gift set because the, this gift set was actually cheaper than the fragrance itself. So I thought, why not? But uh, let's, let's open it and give it a review. I mean, I absolutely love this box. The box itself is really nice. You get this, it's just marble, you know, it has this like marble really effect nice. on it, which is really, really, really nice. I mean, for a cheap fragrance, it's, it's gorgeous. I love the design around here. Uh, we get Caesar's Man and then we get Cologne Spray. Now, the original bottle I had many, many years ago when I, when I went to the United States had legendary Cologne Spray written on it. And I don't know what that means. I think that was just an older batch, but uh, this is the new batch. The spray is a little bit different as well. I remember that the old sprayer I had was a little bit bigger. The cap looks like this. It is made of metal. We get a Caesar's head on the top there, which if I remember correctly, the original bottle had a bit more detail with the Caesar's head. But apart from that, it's, you know, you can still tell what it is. And of course the juice color is like a really rich green. It's beautiful. I don't know who designed this fragrance. Um, I have no idea who the perfumer is. So, I can't tell you guys anything about that, I'm afraid. But uh, before I get into the fragrance, I'm actually going to just smell these. I'm curious, why not? I don't ever do reviews on aftershave bombs or anything. But uh, let's just open this up, see what it smells like. This actually smells pretty good. Usually with aftershave bombs, they don't really last. So I'm hoping this one does. It has a very strong smell to it, though. It smells really good. And as for the shower gel, well... I highly doubt this is uh, going to be that good. Shower gels aren't really, aren't really worth checking out. And that just smells the same. It has that Caesar's fragrance, and of course we're going to talk about the smell when I spray the cologne on myself. So make sure my hands are wiped. I don't want to get any cream on the bottle. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So Caesar's man, really good spray, good distribution. I sprayed this before when I was unboxing it out of the packaging, just so I could get like a first impression. And this is a really good scent. It's an aromatic fougere, I would say, without a doubt, with a lot of green elements and uh, a bit of a spice to it as well. But when you first spray this, you get this beautiful citrus. It's absolutely gorgeous, but underneath the citrus, there is just this green quality to it. And, you know, there's a lot of tarragon in the opening. So the tarragon with the citrus really gives this this crisp, clean, beautiful opening. And then as the fragrance is drying down, uh, it gets a little bit more floral. And then the dry down, you know, you're getting your usual notes like oak moss. There's even an amber note in here. I believe there's even sandalwood. So it's got a very nice woody base. So looking at the notes, when you look at the notes on Fragranica, they are... Very basic, in all fairness. The notes don't really stand out, although the smell itself is just incredible. It has this real... it has a kind of aftershave quality to it, like a... like a... Um, like a men's bathroom shaving product kind of smell to it. And uh, I, I don't want to keep saying that, because I notice I say that quite a, quite a lot in, uh, in fragrance reviews, but in this case that seems to be the correct description, really. It's... It has this real barbershop, clean smell to it. And it's really, really quite something. Uh, you know, 
I used to think it was quite unique. I didn't really th used to. Th I used to think it was nothing like anything else out there. But this is this is definitely a clone of Guy Laroche's Dracar Noir. So if you are into Dracar Noir and you love that lemon verbena opening with the lavender, this has that. I did actually forget to mention there is a lavender note in here, which is just so so beautiful. Although the differences between this and Dracar Noir is, I actually. I actually prefer this over Dracar Noir, and that's a really bold statement considering, you know, Dracar Noir is a more original fragrance. came out in 81, whereas this is 87. I just prefer the blend to this. I think this has a, a more pleasing smell. It's definitely a stronger fragrance from the get-go. But it's just insanely nice. You've got this citrus, you've got that green undertone. But what I really like about this fragrance is it has a vintage feel. What I mean by that is it's kind of like a, a musty smell. And I don't know if it's because this is this might be an old batch. I don't even know. But there is a bit of a musty smell underneath, which just reminds me of, you know, collect like those vintage fragrances in, in their original formulas, which I do have a few of myself. And, you know, they do give off this musty smell. It's, it's almost like the notes have kind of faded over time. This has that, but it's, it works in a very pleasing way and it makes it smell quite original. And another thing I'd like to mention is even though this smells a little bit like Dracar Noir, it isn't, I, I wouldn't exactly call it a solid clone. There's even a slight pine smell to this as well. I mean, it's not like a, a pine sol or is it like a straight up pine, but there is a greenness to it. And I think with that tarragon as well, the pine is in there just creating a really nice uh, green combination. Like I said, it's it's definitely a citrus green, uh, whereas Dracar Noir is definitely more potent on the lavender. It's like a greener version of Dracar Noir, if that makes sense. Uh, I feel like the tarragon and the oak moss are really strong in this. That lavender is there as well, of course, but it's it's very strong on the greens. But it's just absolutely beautiful, and I think if anyone again is into those old school fragrances, which of course I am, this is a fragrance that you can't you that I don't think you should ignore. It's it's amazing and. I got this off eBay in a gift set. It only cost me like, I think it was like £22. Yeah, something like that. Whereas the bottle on its own was going for a little bit more. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the gift set and I'm going to enjoy it. You know, I'm really going to enjoy it. And I'm going to use these up as well. Why not? It's nice. It's a really nice fragrance. I'm glad I was able to revisit it. And the reason for me buying this fragrance was because of Kellen from Sense of South Jersey. It was, you know, his inspiration for the fragrance that really wanted, that I really thought, you know what, I'm gonna get it. And I'm glad I have. So thanks, Kellen, for, uh, you know, really reminding me that this fragrance exists, if you like, because I actually forgot that it existed and I forgot how good it was. Now, the question is, is it different than the original formula that I bought so many years ago? Um, I think it is, yeah. I think the original was a little bit stronger. It had a, a more potent smell to it. Uh, it was just so much stronger on the skin. Whereas this one seems to be sitting a little bit closer, although it's a little bit more powdery, I would say. This one is a bit more powdery and it's it's sitting more closer to the skin, but I don't mind that. You know, I really don't mind that. At the end of the day, I don't mind fragrances that last no more than f four or five hours at the end of the day because it, smell is important to me. First impression smell is important. And this is really the kind of fragrance that you can just spray, respray on your skin whenever you want. Uh, because it's, it's not really going to offend anyone. Do I think it's going to give you compliments? Absolutely. I really do. Because I was wearing Dracar Noir the other day and I was getting little wafts of it while it was on my skin. And I was just thinking to myself, God, Dracar Noir is absolutely amazing, really. And my girlfriend likes it. And I know that a lot of people in the community like it as well. And I know that it is a compliment getter, which makes me feel like Caesar's Man will also give you those compliments. It may not be a more... A well-rounded fragrance than Dracar Noir. I think Dracar Noir is definitely a more higher quality scent. But for what you're paying, guys, this is definitely worth adding into your collection. I think it's it's just a great fragrance. And I think, honestly, I don't think it's going to be around for too long. Uh, I can't say it being around forever. Because when I'm looking at this box, it used to say that this was manufactured by Caesars World, which was the name of the company. Whereas now it's just Caesars. And I think there might have been a, a licensing takeover or a change in the company or just a big reformulation. That would make sense to me. But for what it is, this is amazing. It's 120 mil cologne spray and it's just a spray. I remember the old bottle I had, I could actually 
twist this off and use it as a splash bottle as well. But this is just a solid sprayer and it, it's a good sprayer as well, to be fair. Let's do it one more time. Really good, in fact. Why not? Not wearing a fragrance. In fact, I was wearing a fragrance. I was wearing your pom. But uh, why not? Might as well do a layer, eh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, it's it's amazing. And I would highly recommend it. I really would. If you're into the classic fragrances and you, you know, and you, you don't mind price tags and fragrances, this is good. This is really good for the price you're getting. And to me, even though it has those similarities to Jacquard Noir, it is still a fragrance unique in its own right. And I would just recommend it. So yeah, guys, that is my review. And because this is kind of a first impression review, I thought, why not just do a review on the first impression of this batch? I thought, you know, let's not really talk about the longevity because in all fairness, I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm guessing it's going to last maybe four to five hours just by guessing the initial impression, but that's not a bad thing. God, I just love it. It's so nice. And if you guys, again, are into obscure, cool looking fragrances with nice looking bottles, I like bottle designs as much as I like, as I like smells and I like cool looking fragrances on my shelf as an, as an aesthetic, really. And this one really ticks that box. So yeah, guys, that's really the end of this review. I hope you've enjoyed it on Caesar's Man. It's a really, really great aromatic fougere from 1987 that I would definitely recommend that you all check out. Sorry about that. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you all take care of yourselves. Hope you're all smelling amazing. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves and see you all later on. Bye for now.